What's going on guys? So today we have a very interesting video for you and this one is going to be to help you fix a problem that may occur while you're traveling or while you're setting up or you know breaking down after an RV trip. And before we get started with this, I want to announce a really cool sponsorship this month. The folks over at RV Snap Pads the ones who make these really cool recycled tire rubber pads that attach permanently to the bottom of your landing gear, leveling system, or tongue jack, they're sponsoring my channel for this month. Well, not the entire channel, but several videos. And this is one of those products that I've never had an issue with. And when I say never had an issue, I mean it does exactly what it's designed to do. It widens the overall foot pad of your landing gear, it creates an extra inch of height for your landing gear. It provides protection to the bottom of your landing gear, otherwise you're gonna scrape it all up on all these rocks and different things that you often use your landing gear on when you are at an RV park or campground. And they also look really nice. They're built very well, they drain off this way. Even if you have to make adjustments underneath, there's a big hole in the center there that allows you to get a tool in there to make adjustments. But they make them for just about every type of landing gear out there. Very, very cool product, definitely Big thumbs up to the folks at RV Snap Pads. And again, this is one of those products that I've trusted for a long time. We had them on our previous RV. I recommend them to anybody who gets an RV and they just work really well. I appreciate the sponsorship on several videos that we're gonna be doing this month. Anyways, guys, let's talk about the problem we're gonna be fixing. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so when I came out here to install a product that unfortunately didn't work with the current suspension I have, and that was the Sumo Springs, basically that thick poly foam bushing that kind of sandwiches between your leaf springs and the frame, the bracket that squeezes in place over the top of your leaf spring bracket did not fit. So it was too narrow, it needed to be a little wider. And that's mainly because of these heavy duty Dexter 8,000 pound axles that are on our specific fifth wheel. Had they been 7,000 pound axles, they probably would have worked just fine. Or had they been possibly LCI axles, I'm not sure that top plate was the limiting factor for our specific unit, but I have been in touch with them to see if they can make a different form of that clamp that actually clamps on top. That being said, in order to get them to fit or at least to position them so I could see if they would fit, I had to raise the leveling system up so I could get more frame clearance above the leaf spring by about a half an inch. In the process of doing that, I created an error to where the jacks themselves saw something weird going on and they went into an error mode. And a lot of folks wanted to know if that happens to them with their ground control 3.0 electric landing gear from LCI, how do you clear that error code? Because what the app tells you and what the screen inside tells you to do is to retract all your landing gear to reset it. But the problem you're gonna run into is when you do that, you may find that only your front and rear landing gear go down. And if you have a six point auto leveling system with these center stabilization jacks, they don't go down. And that's exactly what happened in my case. So the front landing gear went down, the rear landing gear went down, but the center ones did not. And it created another error code. So I spoke with the folks at LCI. They walked me through the process of fixing it. We're gonna see if it fixes it today. So the first thing we need to do which will make this process a lot easier, is to position jack stands underneath the front. And the reason why we need to do that is because I need to be able to retract the landing gear. Now, if I simply hitch up to the back of the truck, which is an option, then I'm in this position where I have to unhitch so I can test it. And if it doesn't work, I have to rehitch the truck back up so I can test it again. Because once you get the landing gear retracted, you put it into auto level mode. And once it goes into auto leveling mode, you can't be hitched up to your trailer at that moment. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up the back landing gear. We're gonna extend the front landing gear so I can fit some jack stands underneath it. And then we're gonna go through this process of retracting everything, getting everything up in place. And then I'll show you the steps that you need to do to reset your system. Now, keep in mind, this is only for a system that's kind of out of calibration that needs to be reset. If you have an issue with maybe a fuse being blown or a wire short, things like that, you're definitely gonna have to dive deeper into a repair to figure out what's actually taking place. If you wanna know where, at least on 99% of fifth wheels, where they put that auto leveling brain, it's gonna be in this basement area up front, usually up against the very top roof or underneath this portion of the fifth wheel inside there. And you'll be able to see all your fuses as well as access your wiring and things like that. So 
First thing we need to do is stabilize the front by putting some jack stands there and getting ready to retract all of my landing gear. Now there's different ways to do this. I could go inside and do it from the touch screen inside. If I had the larger control panel outside, I could do it, but because I have the small control panel right there, I either have to be inside to do it or I have to do it from the one control app on my phone. I'm simply gonna go into my leveling mode, go to manual mode, and then once I'm there, I can go over here and I can either raise or lower. So if I wanna raise the actual jack, I hit plus, but if I wanna lower it, I'm gonna hit minus. And the first thing I need to do is start lifting the rear jacks off the ground. And you may be able to see it right there. They are coming off the ground. And I'm not gonna lift them completely. I'm only gonna lift them maybe about four inches off the ground. Maybe a little less than that. All right, so I've lifted them far enough off the ground that I can go ahead and raise the front because if I raise the front and the system determines that the back ones are too close to the ground to where we'll put undue pressure on them, the system will just stop and shut down. And I don't wanna do that. So now I'm here at the front, I'm gonna hit the plus sign and I'm gonna hit front and it's gonna raise the front landing gear. Now I have these 12,000 pound jacks here and I don't really need 12,000 pound jacks, but you know, there's a lot of work I sometimes do on the RVs and I wanna have jacks that more than exceed the uh, capacity of anything I might ever throw on them. And each one of these jacks are rated at 12,000 pounds. All right, so that one is now cleared. Let me make sure that the other one over here is clear. This one's close, but it hasn't cleared completely yet. Raise it up a little bit more. All right, so now they have both cleared on each side. I'm gonna go ahead and position the jacks underneath the frame so I can begin to lower it. Okay, so now I have the jacks positioned underneath the frame on both sides. I have the one on the right side a little bit closer to the front to avoid the exhaust pipe from the Onan generator. And then I have this one right here a little bit further back just to uh, get specifically on the frame section itself. Okay, so now I am in manual mode again, and I am going to retract my front landing gear slowly. Okay, so I have all the weight off of the front landing gear. As you can see, it's resting on the two jacks. So now what I'm gonna do is go into the system from here and I'm going to clear everything by retracting all. So at this point, when I hit this button, all my landing gear will retract. So I'm gonna hit enter, enter. Now everything is retracting, the rear jacks and the front jacks, and all the front weight is resting on those two jack stands. If you've never done this before, it can be a little intimidating because you know, you don't want those jack stands to fail and that's one of the reasons why I kinda did overkill on them. All right, so I have everything retracted now and this is the process of resetting and this is the reason why it's so much better if you use jack stands because if I had the truck hitched up, I'd have to unhitch the truck now so I can attempt to do this fix. So now I'm gonna go into my system, I'm gonna go to manual mode and you see those two that are flashing right there? That means that's where the faults are occurring. So what I need to do is clear those faults. And the first thing you need to do before you hit auto level is you need to drop your jacks down at least six inches. That's the key. If you try to do this from here and you hit auto level, which is what they say to do, it's not gonna work. The front and the back will go down, but the center ones will stay where they're at and you'll get another error. So again, the first thing you need to do is you need to drop the center jacks and the rear jacks so they're at least six inches down. I'm gonna drop my rear jacks down. They're coming down slowly. Then once I do that, and I'm not gonna drop them down completely. I'm gonna drop them down about six inches. They have to be at least six inches, so I'll go a little bit further than that. I'll say right about there maybe. 
and then these center ones. Now, a lot of people wonder how you drop your center jacks manually. So if you just press left or right, it's gonna drop or raise both jacks on the front and back, and it won't actually do anything to the center ones. To drop the center ones manually, because these are just stabilization jacks, they're not actually leveling jacks, you're gonna press and hold both left and right buttons at the same time. Let me make sure this tire chock's out of the way. So now I'm gonna press both the left and right button at the same time to extend them. Now because six inches is awfully close to the ground on these, I'm gonna go ahead and let them extend completely and then we'll hit auto level on the system and we'll let it go ahead and level itself out. Okay, so we're touching the ground. I just hit auto level. Looks like we're in good shape now. I removed the front jacks, of course, so they're not still under it, so when it levels down. But that's essentially how you clear it, right? You just have to be sure that before you retract all your landing gear, of course, you have some jack stands underneath it. If you have to use your truck, of course, that's one option. But once we've cleared the code and cleared the issue, you have to drop your leveling feet at least six inches. That's the big part a lot of people don't realize. Once you've dropped it six inches, you can hit auto level and everything will work out for you. Anyways, I sure hope this helps you folks that might find yourself in this position. If you don't have the center leveling jacks or the stabilization jacks, then your rear jacks need to be dropped at least six inches. But if you have the center ones, you need to drop those six inches as well. And the cool thing is, is if you have the One Control app, you can do it pretty much all from your smartphone because it emulates what you see inside from the screen. And it sure as heck beats running in and out of your RV to try to see what's going on. Now, the steps for your system may be different, of course, if you have the hydraulic level up system, basically the hydraulic version of this system. But this is how you do it with the electronic version. And it works the same for either the four or the six way leveling. Now, the center jacks here aren't actually leveling jacks. They are stabilization jacks. Your front and rear jacks are what level everything, and then your center jacks come down just to prevent so much force from being applied to the center portion of your frame because the front and rear jacks are spaced so far out. But that's how you do it. I hope this video is informative for those of you who are having those issues. And again, to lower your center jacks on a six-way auto leveling system, you press and hold the right and left buttons together and that's gonna manually lower your center jacks. Get them dropped at least six inches and then you can hit auto level and you should be good to go. But yeah, worked out really well. I know a lot of folks are always interested in some of the products that I use. I bought these off of Amazon. They're 12 ton uh, big red jacks. They work really well for this application. They don't have that dual locking mechanism in them, I don't believe. But at the same time, as long as you pay close attention to what you're doing, you should be in pretty good shape with these. But I'll put a link in the video because I know a lot of people are looking for heavy duty jacks all the time. Anyways, guys, I sure hope this video has been informative. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.